everybody, Blaze with here, coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection news update. Alright, this time we have some uh, new Bikini Warriors coming out. Konan, Tayuya, and uh, the rest of them are old, like Tintin, Sakura, Ino, and uh, the Mizukage. Even though they're the old ones, I had to say the Mizukage, and uh, especially Tintin, are the only ones worth having. Um, Ino's a four star, and Sakura just sucks. But, um... The only new ones are Conan and uh, Ten, not Ten Ten, but Tayuya. I don't know why they made Tayuya because she's like 14, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's see. Now, here's a share campaign right here. You know, you guys got to share, like all of it. You know the works. Hit the little button right here, the little W will take you down to the bottom to share either online or retweet on Twitter. Now, let's get into this. July 16th to um, an unknown period it's right now. It's the uh, in mc to i have no idea what the fuck that means but um supposedly we're getting a new conan um Tayuya. now shout out to zano san again in the um twitter for um putting their ultimates out plus a little bit of their art and um yeah okay and we're getting an event that same day of course it looks like in the event we're going to be able to get some gear for the um, Tayuya and conan it looks like one of the first ones like um Tayuya's ghost she used the cast from her flute the second one looks like it's Conan's bikini and the tree, coconut tree. I have no idea who that goes for. I'm assuming that goes for any of the swimsuit characters right now. And then um, a shell that looks like Taiyu's hat, the same hat she's wearing in her um, character art. And that looks like Conan's necklace. Um, they're all kind of like, in and out, so I don't know which one goes which, but I guess we'll find out when the uh, day comes. So what is it, the 13th today? We're seeing this in three days then. Okay. That seems cool. And then um, the 20th to the 23rd, we're going to have another chance to get the uh, PvP um, Ashura. So I'm assuming PvP is coming back that day because it's the only way to get them. And um, we scroll back down. My boy Sasuke right here, July 23rd. Um, this looks like it's a point event. Might be even a damaging event for a new Sasuke that's coming out. Now that cloud right there, I feel like that gear is old and I've seen it before, but I don't know. I don't know if I remember correctly because they are bringing back a lot of the older events for newer players. So I assume that, um, that's an older one too, but I don't know yet. And we still don't know what he's going to do for Sasuke's birthday, so we're going to have to wait and see. Let's go back down right here. We see with July 25th. A new character is coming out. It looks like to be a festival unit because if it was um, an EX Destroyer unit, it would kind of have like a blackish purplish tint to it. You know what I mean? To signify that it's an EX Destroyer. Now, um, I'm assuming it's Madara because if you look at the silhouette, you look at the, especially on the right or left, I think it's the left, that looks like his fan. You know what I mean? His gun by fan, whatever the fuck it's called. That looks like to be his fan. Now, I could be wrong and that could be a new Sasuke. And that could be like Sasuke from um, when he was first being trained by Orochimaru. And that could be him pulling his sword out. And that could be his big ass sleeves. But um, I don't know. I would hope it's a Sasuke. But then again, I don't know. And we scroll down here. We'll see the Conan and Tayuya. And all the rewards we get for retweeting and sharing on Twitter and Line. Now, um, earlier today, we did get some rewards for the uh, retweets and shares. I think we got about 30 free stones. And... Um, some you know ramen some um ninja books to increase our level and a bunch of other uh, gifts and shit and also a new naruto came out today and uh he's pretty much gonna go he pretty much coincides with the uh conan not conan but um kushina that's out right now they perfect work they work perfectly together on the team especially if you add minato on that team too so at some point i might summon on them i don't know because i really do want um Sasuke and I'm curious to see what he does because they can't just ignore that Sasuke. Come on now. We need a birthday Sasuke Also, the um, old um, Kage missions are coming back. So you have a chance to farm these up Which I probably will especially now that I got mean it. So I'll probably just put it on auto and call it a fucking day <laughs> They've also brought back some older events for the 15 million download celebration This is one of the first events I ever played about like um, two years ago when the game first came out um, this, you know, he's obviously ass now, 3% plus 2,000, and he was a free-to-play unit, so he's obviously ass now, but, I mean, hey, I don't know, somebody might be able to make some use out of him. Some gear right here for him, for any data, really, 
Here's some uh, gear for Sasuke. These are only goes to the Sasuke's who are like part of Heavy. And um, yeah, you know, the one who had his curse mark, obviously. Shippuden Sasuke's that have the curse mark. We go right here, it still goes to any of the Team Heavy members. Jugo, Sasuke, Kadin, Suigetsu. We need a good Suigetsu in the game. This free-to-play um, Jugo hits pretty hard. I think um, somebody put it on Twitter that he hit for a couple of million. So I might max him out and do a showcase on him. But I don't know. Sometimes I don't feel the need to maxing out free-to-play characters because I never really use them. This is uh, some more data gear right here. It looks like it increases the attack and skill damage by 60% and boosts his cast speed by one. So that's definitely still worth having. And uh, here's Sasuke's gear right here. This Sasuke gear is very old, but it fits on any of the Shippuden Sasuke's. And um, it looks like it increases his attack and um, HP by 100%. And um, I think that's um, chakra or health recovery every 10 turns. So I might get that again. That is a very good gear, even for um, today's standards. Um, another old event they brought back was this one, when the first Taka Sasuke came out. You see these uh, Jugo, Kari, and Suigetsu are free to play. So I think these events were out at the same time when they first came out, and I was mostly just farming the um, data run right here because I had pulled that Sasuke and the Kari from the banner. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna farm this one then. Um, these free to play units are, like I said, they're just they're just old, man. They just didn't age well. That's all. They just didn't age well. During their time, they were probably pretty good, but now they're just uh. Here's some Suigetsu gear. Here's some gear for Kadin. It's just a picture of Sasuke because she's a fucking creep. Some Jugo right here. I have no idea what that does. And this looks like it goes on Sasuke. This must be like when Jugo, uh, not Jugo, but um, Killer B blew open Sasuke's fucking chest and um, Juice Jugo like fused his cells and shit from the curse mark into him or something. The Kushina of um, banners out with this event right here. Make sure to farm this shit, guys. Because um, you never know. They might make another Kushina sooner than we think, so. And you get a lot of these cool little background things right here. Like, I got that little four-star thing that looks like a heart from them hugging or some shit. I thought it was pretty cool and neat, so, yeah. And the new Naruto event is out, too. That same background thing is actually a gear for Naruto. So I'm going to actually farm that up. It looks like it's an um, HP attack. And skill damage maybe you know, or just hp and skill damage up 70 percent plus something else um i don't know what the first part is maybe i'll translate it or something later and then here's his headband it looks exactly like the new minato gear that came out what was that hp defense and agility up 90 percent or attack uh, i don't fucking know but um it's a lot of these neat little backgrounds coming out too so make sure you guys farm that shit up and then um that'll be good and then um that should take us to the end of the month. And then, you know, when a new month comes, we have a chance to um, go in a trading shop and trade for some stones. So that's always a good thing to do. Um, logged in a day, got some ramen and some 50,000 coins. Okay, anything else? I think that's all. Uh, I think I covered everything. I think I covered everything. I've been playing some of them, but... Oh, the Kage missions are out now. Okay, so yeah, the Kage missions are out now. So go ahead and farm that shit. Um, I have to go to work, so I'll probably try to farm, try to sneak in some farming at work or sneak in some, um, not sneak in, but when I get home from work, try to get some farming done. These are all the characters you need for this new Naruto event. This data event, um, I'm pretty much got all the stones and shit from it, so I don't know. I guess I'll just grind on like 2 million. No. Uh, maybe I'll grind a little bit more. I don't know. It's not hard. It was easier because that Sasuke right there was a point booster and he was a main point booster. But now he's been reduced all the way down here because he's such an old unit. It kind of pisses me off. Like, I wish he was still up here on top. But, um, yeah, since they're bringing back these two old-ass events, with that's with that um, black, not black, but red slashes in the corner, the uh, left-hand corner. So, um, to signifying that it's an older event. So, um, yeah, they're probably going to bring back some more older ones, like the um, old free-to-play Tintails, Obito and some Madara's, and they're gonna bring back a lot of old events, so it's gonna be a great opportunity to obtain some gear, so make sure you guys do that shit. If not for the free-to-play characters or the um, items you get from uh, beating the mission, at least to get the gear. You never know when that gear could be useful for you. You never know what unit you're gonna pull in the future, especially if you're free-to-play. But um, I think I covered everything in this news update. I think that's it, I'm pretty sure that's it. Obviously, you know, stones are for sale because of the characters are here and they got stone packs and shit for you. 
Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else has been covered, so yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you like this video, man. Thank you for the support, and uh, this being your boy Blazehood. Peace out.